Good morning everybody, it's Mike. We are back in the woods searching for World War II relics. And today I got something special for you because me and my friend Bunker Ben, who's behind me right there, we hopped on a couple of planes and a train and a, and a car ride. And uh, we came out here in the middle of nowhere in beautiful Norwegian Finnmark. So we are here way away far from home to search for World War II relics. Um, we were invited by, uh, by Stian and uh, Stian is uh, somewhere back there and I'll show you him, uh, him later. But uh, yeah, we fired up the detectors. Uh, I brought the Garrett Ace Apex and uh, as you can hear, I just jumped them, dropped my detector and uh, there's already things going on. Let me just show you because first there's just this bunker stove that uh, the Germans really needed high up here this place gets cold in winter and uh, they were camped out here for a long time and uh, yeah so there's a bunker stove here uh, Stian throws something towards bunker Ben just now you got something good oh that's packaging material for uh, for artillery show or that is nice and there are all these things laying here uh, including this thingy mabob that uh, looks like an ammo box and more thingy mabobs <laughs> another stove or something and over here were some good things because here you turn around the top side of an ammo crate I think this is uh, for the steel grenade you know the potato masher grenades this is one of the lids it came in with and, uh, yeah all these things here just at the surface so uh, between the, the couple of us I think we're gonna do good today hey guys let me give you a deep digger mic tip okay um, if you come across a foxhole like this I'm standing in right now and you detect and you have signals and you dig up trash modern trash like this Gillette shaving cream can people used to just throw garbage on garbage it's something we all do you know there's a pile of trash let's throw our trash on top of it so deep dig okay and keep continuing because right on top of all that modern crap not sure if you can see it there you go I think you can now is an MG belt a machine gun belt from World War II a German one so uh, don't give up okay if you find modern trash keep at it and it's actually a big one piled together but oh there's even more oh no that's just the root hanging into it so yeah there you go uh, some beautiful World War II relics and uh, I'm sure there is more but you need to give me a break for a sec to uh, catch my breath and uh, dig some more but yeah keep keep just digging guys don't give up don't get all like oh it's modern trash i'll give up no continue listen to mike and be successful you can hear a lot of bleeping sounds around me and that's because uh there's bunker ben there's viking jan which i'm gonna introduce in a sec and there's my buddy key my buddy steen i'm sorry um, that's Stian, and Stian is the one that caused this all. He, uh, I'm the one to blame. 
<laughs> you're, yeah, you're the one to blame for us uh, flying half a world away to uh, to meet up with you guys. Uh, thank you so much, Justy, and, and I appreciate here is it. Buy a nice shirt. The Viking from Norway. Yeah. The Viking from Norway. We are now have two Vikings. We have Viking Jan and Viking Stian. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, another one just appeared, and that's uh, that's Kim. And uh, you might recognize these guys from a couple of videos ago. Oh when we were up in Norway too. So they decided to join us too. So it's a big bunch of Vikings now. And um, soon there's going to be another Kim. Um, there are so many Kims here that it started to look like North Korea. Um, ben in the foxhole right there just found this. A flare casing. And uh, this is an, a nice one. It's marked. I don't know if I can show you that. Did anybody find anything good? Um, uh, and uh, looks like a bullet hole. What you got? Looks like a bullet hole. Oh, it does. Yeah. That. Looks like a bullet it, hole. Yeah, in the in the can. Yeah. It was used as target practice. Or just punched a hole. Yeah, that's nice. Well, let me just put this in my bag. Um, and let's walk over to uh, to the other Viking, Viking Jan. What you got, Jan? Ah, I think you're right, yeah. Let me just do like that. Yeah, a little plaque with some text on it. Yeah. I think it's like a technical schedule for something like a radio or transmitter. Yeah. Nice. Well done, yeah. And Kim uh, also found a, uh, a flare casing. Like the one Ben just found, except this one has like a little top on it, a little roof. And we were just wondering what that is, why it's made that way, because it's pretty solid too. Okay. It looks like something Ooh. just drilled through it or Come on, John. Like, a, like a nail through it. I, no, no. So if you have any idea, let me know. And uh, Jan is the king of cocks. And I'm not lying, look. Well, what kind of sprocket will There you go. Okay, let me just zoom back again. It's not on a motorcycle. So yeah, if you know what this is, or any thoughts, yeah. leave a comment, okay? Curious to uh, see what you think of that. Two items just came out, a small hole. First uh, a tent pack, um, which is always nice to find. And uh, this little mystery item. If you recognize that, let me know, okay? Because I'm kind of puzzled. Maybe a vehicle part or bunker light holder. You tell me. So while I was filming Jan, to give you some live footage, there was a scream. Oh, wow. Look at that. First signal. That's the first signal. This looks so modern. Be j just because of the pain and all. And uh, yeah. any idea, Stian? What is this? It's a Matsen. Matsen. It's a Matsen. Norwegian. Uh, Norwegian uh, rifle. Uh, it's a machine gun. A machine gun. Okay. I never heard of that. Wow. Uh, Good. Well done, Kim. <laughs> Let's see what Jan comes up is, with. Come on, Jan. Okay. Yeah. Well, I had to uh, I had to shut you off because it took a while, and that's not John's fault. It's uh, it's mighty rocky here, the soil. So, uh, uh, well, Stian is complaining in the background. But anyway, he uh, found a 20 millimeter. Uh, um, what's it called? The f yeah, the flak uh, anti-aircraft uh, um, gun. We found those in the past before. So, yeah, awesome find, John. Thank you. There are things at the surface, a lot of them, especially on the on the rocks there. Um, I found a few casings over there, on the rocks, just laying there. Um, and now this is uh, this is coming out just in between the moss, and uh, it's obviously uh, packaging material for grenades. Um, but I'm kind of puzzled for which grenade it is. Um, I'll ask my friends. But um, if you don't see any text uh, up left, let me know what it is.
If you know, let me know, okay? Kim is walking away and he brought me this. The exact same thing I just found, as you can see in the background. And um, he said, did you see the markings on there? On your uh, fine? I said, no. And he actually showed me this. Let me just see if I can zoom it for you. Yeah, there we go. Focus, baby. Um, yeah, Legen, I don't know. I've never seen this before, so uh, again, if you know, let me know. Sorry about the weird cap, but we were attacked by mosquitoes. So uh, I have this. Um, but anyway, uh, while I was uh, metal detecting with uh, Kim, Jan and Stian were out like a kilometer away. And uh, let me just wipe off the mosquitoes. And it did very good. Uh, let me just show you before I suck to death by all these freaking mosquitoes. So let me move around a bit. Um, yeah, so they found one, two, three, four, five, six of these oil drum or gas drum lids. Um, as you can see, WH, Wehrmacht, here, no, that, yeah, that says WH, what is this, an F? Vifo, oh no, no, I'm wrong, I'm sorry about that. Let's, uh, let's just, uh, um, let's just move on because I don't know what it says. <laughs> All right. This one I can read. It says Wehrmacht. And this one we can read as well. It says Wehrmacht too. And that one says... I think it says also Wehrmacht, yeah. Wow, man. Jeez, you've been doing good, Stian. Um, Stian also found this weird thing. Gas mask canister and uh, the lid of a what's it called? A food, food yeah, you're right, a food container. Wow, man, you've been doing good. Yeah. You also found a stack of uh, uh, ammunition, right? This one. Oh, that's right. One of the skiing, what's it called? A pole? No, uh, I think it was a ski pole. Yeah, she's tall. Yeah. You know the thing where you uh, you ski with. So that's one of those. And um, you also found a stack of ammunition. Yeah, um, and these two. Right. Okay. Let me just first grab this. That's a twenty millimeter. Yeah. We found those. A uh, couple of those uh, down the road. Down the path, I should say. Um, and he found two of these stacked together, the K98 ammo and their clips. How they were uh, fitted in the ammo uh, pouches. So yeah, man, good. Well, the thing is, we, uh, we have a couple of kilometers to walk and these things are heavy. I so uh, getting the car. Right yeah, or we should get the car. We uh, brought a four-wheel drive, so uh, we should be able to get out here. But uh, still, we have to walk quite a distance, and these things are heavy. Hey, isn't this uh, marked? No, it's not. But wow, this one's best. I think. Yeah, those three. Good job, guys. Awesome. Viking Jan just came up with uh, with this. It's uh, an ammo box. And this, another ammo box. Man, so much things here. Big things come out. You wanted live digs? Let me give you one. Well, it's not really live dig, but okay. I'll give you this one, okay? Here. We actually seen it. And it's another one of these barrel lids. And I thought I'd just dig it out together with you. So I put up the, the GoPro right there. And I'll grab it out for you. I'll take it out for you. And you can see it. Do me doing it live.
Oh, and it is a nice one again. These things are heavy. I'm not sure what this says. I was struggling with it before. W I F O WIFO with a number, but the other ones are marked here. Oh, Wehrmacht. Wehrmacht and uh, yeah, what Vito or Vifo means, I don't know. And right between the rocks, I didn't even need a detector, were these two. These uh, flare casings, signal flare casings. And I'm trying to uh, line them up for you so you can see the, the text on there. So yeah, that is pretty cool. That's that's something I bring. Very cool. It's time for me to say goodbye because I'm I, I'm I'm out of energy, out of uh, stamina. Um, although it may not look like it, if you see in the background, it's not done yet. Steen uh, just uh, walked towards me. Oh my God, man! Wow, complete one. Oh no, it's missing the... The bayonet is missing, oh. But still, man, what a find. Yeah, I came also, also from the scabbard, but without the frog. Right, wow, good job, man. Did you find it? Yeah. Yeah, congrats. So, uh, another find, just before I wanted to end the video. Let me just give it back to you. Oh. There you go. <sighs> Well, thank you for that extra bonus, uh, yeah, Stian. Go follow welcome. Stian, by the way. He's uh, He's got a very nice Instagram account. And uh, I'll put the link below and uh, on top here somewhere and uh, go check it out. Anyway, I just wanted to say goodbye to you from behind the screen. Uh, why he's not wearing a screen, I don't know. But uh, I'm getting uh, attacked by all these mosquitoes. Anyway, hey, thank you uh, for watching. Thank you, my patrons. Your names are right here and to the right, right here. And uh, if you're interested in some background footage and some bonus material, go check out my Patreon website. Um, and thank you as a viewer, of course. Um, if you like the video, consider subscribing, okay? We're uh, on our way to the 100,000 and uh, every subscriber counts. So please go do that. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you very much from, uh, from me and the guys. Um, and from Stian, who is a... Uh, Seemingly also to be fed up with it. Are you done? I'm happy now. You're happy, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're happy, I'm happy. And uh, take care, guys. So long. Bye bye.